I'm Lee Berger, I'm a paleoanthropologist at the University of the Witwatersrand, and today we are loading up two very special skeletons. One of Australopithecus sediba, the actual holotype specimen, discovered back in 2008, and the second one, the skeleton of Neo, Homo naledi. And it's an exciting day, it's also a nervous day for us, as we pack up this priceless world heritage. I think that this one slots in yep. oh, nice. right, right there. there. Cool. Yeah. I first met Homo naledi in 2013 when I joined the team as an underground astronaut doing the excavations deep in the Rising Star Cave. And then I think I met Sediba around the same time, but here in the lab it fits. These skeletons are going to the Perot Museum in Dallas, Texas for a six month exhibit. And what's exciting about that is this will be the first time in history two ancient human relative skeletons have been on display together of different species from the continent of Africa, outside of Africa. One, five, two. Two, 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 two seven. The Origins exhibit at the Perot Museum is, uh, we hope that people come to it and, and get to meet our ancient relatives. We also hope that people are inspired to see uh, how they can contribute to science. These are some of the most important, valuable fossils on the planet. And so it's a great thing to share this part of African heritage with the rest of the world. We're very, very careful with these fossils. Whenever we move them around, whether we're excavating or in the lab, or now when we're traveling them all the way to the United States, there's a lot of paperwork that we have to do, um, double checking and triple checking which fossil is which and that they're all accounted for and what condition they're in. They get packed in some very sturdy cases. Then we're going to fly the long, long way all the way to North America. That is a key. Okay, this is a that key. That is your key. So it's a big day. It's the first time that at least one of them has ever flown on an airplane in 250,000 years. 